Billy Walker, was it you who said you wanted to tell fair and young stories? Well, I've got one. <laughs> Maybe a thousand of them. Uh, we've all got them. I don't know whether we can tell them or not. Well, uh, since we were talking about Goldie and Carl, and uh, we were on a tour together, me and Carl uh, Smith and uh, Billy Grammer and Wanda Jackson, and uh, on this tour with Farron. And we were in Ogden, Utah. And, you know, Shelly Snyder that used to manage uh, Farron, they had promoted this date out there. And so there's an old boy by the name of Casanova Jack that used to be in Nashville, and he had moved out to Ogden, and he talked Shelly Snyder uh, into having us to come over and sing one song at his nightclub after the show at the auditorium so he could get the overflow crowd. And so Carl and I were on right before uh, Farron, and uh, we were in this limo being taken over to this club, and Carl says, I know what the good sheriff's going to do. He said, he's going to get us over here, and he's going to start a lot of trouble, and he's going to expect us big guys to get him out of it. He said, it's happened too many times. So he said, I'll t hey, tell you what let's do. He said, uh, we'll sing our song, and then we'll wait till the sheriff comes in, and then so he'll know that we're there. And then let's me and you catch a cab and go back to the motel, because we had to go on to another date. All of us did the next day. So we got in there, we did the show at the auditorium, went over to the club, and we sang our song, and we waited for the, for the whirlwind to arrive. Fair and, and young. Yeah, fair and young. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so he sashayed in there, and of course, you know, he went up to the stage, and he starts singing. And uh, so Carl and I, we caught this cab, and we went back to the motel. And uh, the next morning, we had a checkout time. We was all leaving at the same time. He come down with this great big black eye. He said, where in the heck was you guys when I needed y'all last night? You we're on the Farron Young stories, are we? Go. Uh, Me and little Jimmy Dickens and Farron Young had played Madison, Wisconsin. Now, you all know where that's at because you played that little theater. Or, no, it's a big theater, about 15 to 18, 2,000 seater, right downtown. So the promoter, I guess me, I think Dickens had done his show as well. And we had somebody else on the show. I can't remember who it was. Maybe you'll still remember. But anyway, the, the uh, promoter come by and says, we found out he didn't have any money. He said he ain't got no money. It really, and Farron said, let's go to your office. You're going to get me some money. You're going to get it. You're going to call the sheriff. You're going to do something because you're going to get our money. So we was walking down the hallway. <laughs> uh, the promoter's first. Farron was behind him. And uh, Little Dickens was, was behind Farron. And I'm behind Little Jim. And the promoter turned around and said, you know, I may not, uh, he didn't get no more out than that. Farron hit him. Oh. I mean, knocked him down, and Farron just kept going. And he's pulling his arm backwards and forward like this, and little Jimmy Dickens was on it, saying, Oh, Lord, Farron! Oh, Lord, Farron! Don't hit him again! Don't hit him again, Farron! Don't hit him again! <laughs> Tatum, you want to tell your side of that? That's the truth. Boy, you can make him up. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's the truth. 